uh, I find that the take-home method gives me a resource to monitor and look after my health to a far greater extent than I would have believed possible. Now, unless I were to sustain a broken limb or catch some dreadful infection, I would be reluctant to go to the doctor. I'd prefer to consult a Bateco practitioner because the science that Professor Bateco elucidates gives one a handle on one's health to the extent that one can alter one's breathing pattern to breathe more shallowly and thus accommodate a higher level of CO2, which is vital to the smooth and optimum functioning of one's organism. Now, I'm not a, a scientist and I can't talk science, but I was amazed to discover that there is in the medical textbooks a norm for breathing. Most of us on the planet exceed this norm two or three times over. And this is very deleterious to our health. Now, no doctor has ever asked me whether I'm over-breathing. They check other norms, such as one's blood pressure and body temperature and pulse, but they don't check the breathing norm. And I find this rather extraordinary. I suppose a doctor might ask one if one was short of breath. But I've never been asked if I was breathing too much, let alone through the mouth. Even after the age of 30, our immune systems begin to decline. We are a prey to chronic disease. And the discoveries of Professor Bateko are highly relevant. And it astonishes me that the National Health Service in Britain doesn't take the matter of our breathing more seriously. It is the one thing we do most of, and without which we'd be dead. We do it 20 or 30,000 times a day. Now, surely we should accept the possibility that it can go wrong. If we accept the possibility that everything else can go wrong, why not breathing? The Professor Pateko points out how it goes wrong and what we can do to put it right. And I would recommend anyone to study his findings very carefully. He was a great man. It is difficult talking about the Bateco method to people. They may express an interest, but they don't think it relates to them. Now, this is completely understandable. If someone comes up to me and says, I've got this fantastic diet or this fantastic exercise regime, and you should try it. One may be interested in hearing about it, but one doesn't think it applies to oneself. Anything to do with breathing is absolutely relevant to the other person. And this is what one has to try to get across. And it's very difficult to do. I think I must be blessed or or just plain lucky that I've come upon the Bateco method. So I would say, in conclusion, particularly to all you joggers out there who are running around exercising, which of course is very good because you're making CO2, but because your mouths are hanging open, you're wasting the CO2 you're making and which you need to get the oxygen into your cells and tissues, and I would say to cyclists too, who go zooming by with their mouths hanging open, I would say, to parody a very famous statement, do not ask for whom the method calls. It calls for you. There are free webinars several times a week details of which can be found on this website.